there's two there's two things that I wish I did not have to do but I'm gonna do it anyways um man I really didn't want to do this but anyways um I'm gonna go on hiatus from YouTube at least on this channel um I've kind of tired out from the topics um there's plenty to say but I have so much things to do and that I need to finish school work and then I, I want to do some new side projects such as uh, type up my my book and you know it has a lot of pages and so it, everything needs to be handled you know as soon as possible especially when I get when I finish school so um, this is gonna be my last video and um, the topic that I'm, I'm saying things I'm about to say I didn't want to talk about it not because it's a hot and sensitive issue and it's very you know hard for people to understand but I'm making this video because um, I was I was wrong and uh, the situation was not necessary it didn't need to happen and we, we're just gonna use common sense I'm not gonna go into this diatribe of um, you know I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, do the bullshit. I, I, I try to agree. I try to rational it, but I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't rational it after the second day of thinking. And I know people were up in rage. How dare they storm a woman's apartment, guns blazing? You know, how dare they harass this woman? You know, how dare they kill her, shoot the, shoot and kill her in front of a child? You know, I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm, I know there's wrong on both sides. You know, there's, there's wrong on both sides, and you know, I I tried to defend this woman. I tried, but it it just didn't work out for me. It just I, I just felt stupid, you know. And this is not the opinion. I'm pretty sure this is the opinion of most black people. It's pretty much half and half, and it's not a gender thing like a, a lot of people would say it is. It's not a, oh, it's black men not riding for black women. Yeah, um, and, you know, y'all, we're not riding for her because she's a black woman. It's like, no, I'm not gender baiting this. My thing is, is that, you know, I, I, I tried. I, I was listening to Karazin's uh, um, video. Karazin and... Um, Brooklyn Blues, they did a hangout together and a Google Hangout show together, and I listened to it. I trolled them, and I was like, you know, you know how you know she was not in the wrong, but even though I do not agree with both Karazin and Brooklyn Blues' full analysis, they they did have some partial points. They did have some valid points. That they would then. You know, there were some things you just had to take with a grain of salt, you know, and they were, they were partially right. You know, we can start off with, you know, well, even though I don't like Brooklyn Blues series on um, the new daughter, new son concept of, you know, and Simone 56, but even Simone 56 had a, a slight point, even though I made a, a reaction video that, um, that, you know, that I said, you know, their concept didn't make sense about black women you know riding and dying for black men my thing is that you know these black women are doing it voluntarily you know black lives matter and is consisted of mostly black women and those of the subdivision of the lgbt community so you know it's it's, it's kind of like a grain it's like you know black men aren't running and even if there's black men in the black lives matter movement those are usually um heterose i mean homosexuals or transgender folks so yet again there is no patriarchal structure in the black lives matter community and and this is also in the mission statement you can go on a black lives matter 
um, website and they'll tell you that they do not believe in male leadership. They are not, they think patriarchy is some type of um, Western or European concept and that women must rule. And there's a there's an article you know exposing that the concept and the flaw of Black Lives Matter of wanting to improve a black nation, but yet using the same old tactics of using single moms and the sperm donor concept. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I, I can't defend um, Corin Gaines. I, I can't. Um, sh- I don't think she deserved to die. But it, it's a goddamn parking ticket or traffic ticket. You know, I, I I I don't see the point of trying to do a fucking standoff and trying to be a martyr to niggas who most likely are, or not even most likely, are ninety nine point ninety nine 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 nine, you know, percent not going to fight for you. They're not going to do anything physical or tangible. These more niggas that she was riding and dying for, they're not going to fuck with shit, man. They, I already see more is disclaiming her and shit, talking about, you know, she didn't do the shit right. You know, she's a fake more, uh, this, that, and the third. And this is pretty much like I can with sub, subpartially agree with Simone 56 and Brooklyn Blue when it comes to the so-called race woman. Yes, it is pointless to be a race woman if you're black because niggas really aren't writing for you like that. Um, granted, um, I, I, I don't know the mindset of what niggas want women to do because you'll have the Hebrew Israelites and some other radical group who are like, black male patriarch but not really black patriarch but just kind of rogue male ideology rogue males you know like with gms when they're talking about um you know there's no such thing as rape there's no such thing as molestation if i if i wander i wander there's no if and or but you know that that concept you know rogue rogue males and then you have the matriarchal conscious community, usually the type like polite, where you know black woman is God, and you know also and also natural. Tihuti with his, you know, you know men are degenerate women and all that shit. Um, all, all that, all of that is is uh, just bullshit, you know. And a lot of these niggas they ain't gonna ride or die for women, or. And there's no, there's really no point of black women being martyrs. Now, I would love for black women to love how they look and love and, love and appreciate their dark skin or light skin or whatever. But there's no point of, you know, being a martyr. There's, there's, there's no point of trying to crucify yourself so black people can wake up and fight, <laughs> fight white supremacy. You're not going to fight white supremacy over a damn parking ticket. Just pay the goddamn shit, you know. Just just pay it. I I, I don't understand the concept of, oh, they're out to get us. Yet, um, they're out to get us, but it's like, it's a fucking parking ticket. It's a fucking parking ticket. All you got to do is just accept it, move on. You pay is sixty dollars or whatever the amount it is in your state, and then you move on. Yeah, damn! If it's so hard to just do overtime or get another part-time job or something, it's like I I really don't understand this woman, and I want to because I understand like yeah, there is a fear. Like Tariq Nasheed said, it's hard to think logically in a state of panic like this where you know you have race soldiers trying to kill you. And you you know you're, you you can lose your life at any given moment, but you know most niggas just really need to realize that you you don't need to die for bullshit. Black women just be regular, and stop stop believing in this shit in the conscious community. Despite despite how you know I I'll probably say with the old school conscious community, not the woke. Not the not the Afro funk conscious community or the, the the LGBT conscious community, 
but you know the original or the, the bastardized original conscious community you, you know black women stay out of these damn conscious groups stay out of these uh, basement meetings of you know trying to be a Moor or Hebrew Israelite or Egyptian a Nuwabian uh, or, or whatever the fuck just stay out of it these niggas ain't gonna do shit for you these niggas ain't about nothing and they will let you die and I got you know I'm reading the article that I see uh, you know, I'm reading, you know, articles about the boyfriend and a lot of people are in mixed emotions about the boyfriend or whether or not he's a coward. I, I wish the nigga did take the child. I wish, I, you know, I really wish that he would have put up more of a fight because his child, you know, you know, you know, he should have looked out for that kid. He should have looked out. But I'm also hearing things that the, the child may not be his. And he's, he was just being a step parent. Either way, you know, he he should have done something, you know. He should have put up more of a fight or, you know, be in there instead of the cop. If I think what should have happened was, I think he, when, during the negotiation, he should have been there physically and talked her way out of it. Or at least talk away, you know, the kid out of the situation. I think they didn't. I think I think the police didn't give her enough time to to think logically and think rationally. I'm aware of the situations of you know white, you know white men, um, holding people um, captive and doing standoffs and they come out unhurt. I wish that they. I wish that you know she didn't die out. But you know to be honest with you, this shit is stupid. This shit is like fucking stupid. It's not like this was some type of government conspiracy or, you know, she got caught up on some Jason Bourne espionage shit. This was just some bullshit over a goddamn parking ticket. And this is why this is going to be my last video as Adrian Aquarius. Because, I, you know, I can't defend this shit. I, I, I can't defend this shit. And I don't know what people are dying for now. There isn't going to be a revolution of niggas are going to fight the government. There's, there's way too much discrepancy. There's way too much f fault in the way niggas think and how niggas react. You know, niggas, we ain't going to fight the cracker. We ain't going to fight white people. We don't have tanks, we don't have guns, we don't have any type of militaristic strategies, we don't have allies, we, we don't have a safeguard. I mean, like, we're, like what are we going to do? Like, shit, we're going to be like, what, the, the homeless people or the, you know, the homeless people in uh, RoboCop 3? You know, how many niggas can live that post-apocalyptic lifestyle of, like, living in subways? living in railroads and you know back alleys and abandoned buildings and living off of scrap and expired food like how many niggas can live that lifestyle in mass you know let, let's just be for real man you know yeah we're, we're, we're extremely outnumbered but let, let's just run with it that you know we had somewhat of a of an advantage or just the numbers didn't matter or the numbers weren't a factor let's just run with that overall we're fucked you know because the ego that's another problem uh, who should be the leaders another problem is people who or most of the people aren't aren't going to be able to fight and niggas don't want to sell. Well, niggas, this is this this be for real or why there won't be a, a a revolution. Niggas are not going to give up their luxury of easy living for for anything. You know, they they're not going to give up even if they live in a hood or some bullshit town. They're not going to give it up for a fucking post uh, apocalyptic lifestyle. They're not going to give up the days of bullshitting, smoking weed having sex with the neighborhood prostitute, you know, for a life of constant vigilance of, oh, 
they they're out to get me. Like I'm I'm watching like a lot of these shows on on Hulu. I'm watching. I, I recently got done binge binge watching Spider Man um, Unlimited, where uh, Spider Man he gets trans he gets teleported into an alternate world where animals rule humans, and he's you know, and the humans live in these um, abandoned houses in these you know these subpar living conditions, and there's this rebellion group who's going to fight the. Um, the animal people and it's like even though like in tv it seems easy it seems simple it's just like you know despite the action they're, they're the heroes they're gonna get out of here unscathed no matter what in real life man like i i couldn't imagine they just doing it like i i, I couldn't you know i i couldn't I, it, it won't i don't even think there will be a war. I know white folks. They wanna. They wanna wish that they. They wish that niggas can be like, we're mad and we're gonna fuck shit up. That's why they're they're propagating all this bullshit of the Black August, you know. And there's gonna be mass uprisings of black gangs trying to kill police officers and shit. You, you know, white folks are itching for a fight, but the thing is, we ain't gonna give it to them. You know, niggas, niggas really aren't even in fight mode. You know, I, you know. L- l- let's be honest. Even if we had fifty um, Micah Xavier Johnsons, you know, how long would they last? You know, you know, he, you know. He didn't last long, to be honest. He didn't last long. And you can you can you can look up all these black male martyrs, and overall they did not last long. They they can't even run. And maybe it was a death wish of like, okay, I'm gonna make a stand and that's it. But you know, let, let's just. But you know, if, if that's the mentality, we're just gonna be killing ourselves, and it's just gonna be bullshit. It's gonna be bullshit. It's gonna be a waste. Martyrs for what? You know, martyrs for who? You know, black folks might as well just take this L sitting down and just be like, hey, we're in a, we're in a losing position. But hey, let's just worry about economics. Let's worry about getting our money up and, you know, figuring out stuff. Let, let's have some secret partnerships where we're, we're breaking bread with men and we're, we're, we're getting black boys up to date with shit. And, you know, we're teaching them self-defense, economics, and we'll, 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 let's, let's do some little shit first before we do something big like a revolution. You know, let, let's do big, let's do some little shit first. And, you know, this is pretty much why, you know, with the Korean game situation, this is why a lot of conscious women don't impress me and why I don't like conscious women conscious black women, you know, that's that's just one reason, and and I've met a couple, but it's like, you know, you know, it's just, you just just sit down, man, that's that's why I'm just not into them, there's, there's no, there's, niggas really ain't gonna, you're just dying for a lost cause, really, and, you know, you know, in, in reality, you know, you know, Mika Johnson was not in his right mind. Despite, you know, black folks might applaud his efforts. But let's be honest with you, man. And you're not gonna, you know, we're, we're, you're not gonna, even though white folks fear, you know, Mika Johnson and, and another situation happening again, like, it's only doing psychological damage, it's not doing infrastructural damage. It's not like Mika Johnson assassinated Hillary Clinton or Trump or he assassinated a mayor or a, a politician or a corrupt businessman. You know, if you want to go out as Mars, you might as well do shit like that. I'm just saying. But, you know, we're, we're wasting our time trying to be heroes and revolutionaries and being the next Matt, Matt Turner. You know, we we we're, if we're not we're not thinking right, man. We 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 really have to stop with this bullshit and uh, 
at least learn to control our mental state. And especially for black women, like you really need to control your mental state. I, I, I don't want, you know, black women to be having kids, man. Especially in this state, man. I, 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 I don't want them. I don't want them to have kids. You know, wait till you're 32 or something. I, I feel like the problem, getting them too early, you don't have resources yet, just yet. You're not finishing school just yet. You're not at your financial peak. I, you know, I know you want to to make your grandma proud and you know you want a bigger family and you want to feel loved but i feel sorry for this kid man because he's gonna he's gonna feel scarred and we don't know the mindset that he will be in you know it's, 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 he, he saw his mother die and he shot how, how do you expect this and you know I understand teaching black kids about race and doing this and that, but let's just be honest with you. I'm I, like, well, like, what are you fighting for? The state of niggas is, is like a, a fucking disgrace to society, man. The, the state of niggas, then you know, we we ain't even like ready to do anything massive or powerful yet. Niggas are too busy worrying about sex, drugs, bullshit, you know, everything but economics, everything other than, you know, establishing code. You know, yeah, you can get, you know, some, some good networking in with, you know, on Facebook or on social media or YouTube or whatever. But real life, let's be honest, we can hardly find two brothers to even agree on going to, on going to the movies, like, hey, I want to see X Men. Nah, I want to see Superman. <laughs> you know, you can't work with anybody. You, you really can't work with anybody here, man. The frustration that I have, man, it's like this situation just had me, it's just going to make me go silent because it's like, it's fucked up that, you know, she was a woman, but. It's like, damn, <laughs> this, this was just blown way out of proportion. You know, it's not like um, Philando Castile, you know, he was doing everything right. He wasn't being, you know, an ass. He wasn't saying, I wish you would, or, you know, fuck your crackers and all that shit, you know. You're in a losing position, for Christ's sake. And you threatening people, <laughs> and you you didn't even live long. Goddamn, twenty three didn't even live long. Child is still a kid, still a baby. Didn't even grow up yet. Didn't didn't even see him. You know his potential. You don't, you don't even know his potential. You never will. You wasted that over your pride. Over a fucking group of people who don't give a damn about you. I ain't really talking about black people. I'm talking about these fucking conscious communities. To be a little bit more specific. To be a little bit more specific. But overall, yeah, black folks ain't gonna do shit for her. They'll cry over her. But I, I've, I've seen the, I've seen the reactions. It's it's kind of split down the middle. Of you know she was an ass and you know you, you're being belligerent. And then you have the sides that pity her and like you know they, they, that shouldn't have happened. But it's like. I, I'm, I'm not going to be caping for it, you know. I'm not. I'm not going to be caping for it. But one thing I will agree on with Tariq is that you will not see me in a white supremacist agreeing on on the topic of oh she deserved to die. I, I won't agree with white folks. I'd rather just keep my mouth shut and say, hey, you know, I have a biased opinion and I don't feel like airing it. But um, you know, this this was the video that retired me. This, this, this is the video that will, you know, erase me and make me hated. This will be the video that will make me an outcast because I'm a black man who don't support or feel sorry for Kareem Gaines. I don't feel sorry. <laughs>